hello hello welcome back to my channel I just wanted to do a little craft with me today and show you some of what I'm working on and so I've been working on these page envelopes they're kind of permanent you know they're stuck to the page they don't are not removable but I kind of like the idea and so I've already got three sizes that I've chosen uh, this one is the smallest size. It's the flap is four across by one and three quarters high, and the base is four by three. We will be I'll be doing the medium size right now, and then here's the large size. The flap is three by five, and the base is uh, five by five and a quarter. And I've chosen the double-sided paper so that whenever it's on the page and you lift the flap, you'll see something pretty on the inside. And so let me go ahead and move this out of the way. So we'll be working on this one. And then let me just show you what I've already completed. This is the journal I had showed you last time that I was working on. Still trying to fill it up find the one that I did. This is what we did last time, the little tags collages. And I made some progress on it. There's this. Put in some tucks. There's that. Here's a little pocket here. And this envelope and a little collage here and here's the other tag we did last time let me go ahead and find that envelope I'll put in today here's this one it's the small one and so I just uh, made sure I put it on the page correctly and straight and it just tucks behind this uh, button and I think I'm going to put it in under too far but um, here it is and so you would never it kind of you would never know that it's just two pieces because you you extend it down behind the back where you can't really tell so anyway there's that one and then This one I did because sometimes you may want a little extra room in your envelope since it's flat on the page. You can't really get much in there. So I went ahead and used this double-sided foam tape. And now there's plenty of room to stuff it with several different items. So there's a little bit more stuffing room. And here's this one turned out really pretty and then this one is vellum and I like how this came out vellum's always pretty to work with so there's that one and I did put some of these in here that I showed you last time these pockets and tucks that I had worked on so there's that that one all right so let's get started <clears throat> so we'll be making the medium size let me get my trimmer out Alright, so I need it to be four by two and three quarters of a flap, and the base is four by four and a quarter.
Alright, so I'm going to have to modify it because the flap, I think I have that just a little bit too big. So we're going to go with this and it is measuring one and three quarters. Wait, what did I do on this one? Let me check my work. <laughs> okay, this will come out perfectly. So, I need four inches cut off here. Here's my four inches across and my four and a quarter inches tall. So this is the base of my pocket. measuring two inches so I'm going to go ahead and score a half an inch of a flap. Actually I want to do a little bit more. No that'll work. Okay. Let's do... No it won't. Okay let's go Just do three quarters of an inch. That's what we need. That will be just fine. Because I, I wanted to pick out some pretty paper and, and I picked out a six by six, so I really kind of needed an eight by eight size on that. Okay, there we go. Got it now. Alright, so here it is, and when it's on the page, it's going to look like this. I like that double sided paper. And then I'll show you some decoration things we can do. So I'm using the double sided tape and if you want more real estate inside the envelope then you can use the eighth of an inch double sided tape. So that's what we'll, we'll do on this one, down here. holidays are coming up fast. I can't believe how fast this year has gone by. It seems like it's gone by in a flash. I can't believe it. I'll be starting another... I want to, I want to work on another Christmas journal. I've already completed one in my shop and I really 
enjoyed working on it and I like the way it came out. So I want to do another one. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay. So then there's several things we can do. Could put some trim on here. Also, punch a hole. Put a little bit of trim in there. Maybe dangle some beads off of it. Okay. These are serrated scissors which don't work very good with this eyelash trim. There we go. Okay. So it'll look like this maybe with some beads on it. I think that'll look pretty. And then put that right there. And then you have the option of using some of this trim. Or maybe even underneath. That would be cute. Or and sew around it. There's the bottom, and then just sew around here. Simple as that. So then you have your sewed envelope. Oh, I went crazy right there. That's okay though, I like that. And then maybe you could put some of this. I think that would be very lovely. Alright, I'm going to get these put in my book, in my journal, and I hope that you really like this idea. I hope it inspires you to do something new. Go crazy with it. I was thinking you can also do these with fabric. And sew it actually onto, like say you have your stack of papers that are not in your book yet. You could actually do take the page out and sew the fabric on before you assemble it in your book. But thank you so much. If you like, share, subscribe, I would love it. Uh, I'll be back again to do some more crafting. And I think I'll go ahead and start decorating these and get them put in the book. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.